Hey everybody, it's Brian Davis. It is, I believe, May 13th. We are going to bring you a video. Um, I picked up a couple items. I've been doing trips back and forth up to Pennsylvania. Uh, I went to Renegers Extrav. I wound up buying some really good stuff at the paper show, but then at the Extrav, I made an offer on a really great album of early Halloween postcards, like pre-1920 stuff and a large quantity. Um, when you talk about postcards, you know, value is pretty much real photo postcards and Halloween postcards are your two best possible uh, things that you can pick up and hold the lights, things like that. So this collection is really awesome. I paid up for it, paid quite a bit of money, um, but the stuff is amazing. I haven't seen a collection this good in a long time. So I wanted to do a video and show you guys this collection. I am willing to flip the collection. Uh, price would probably be 4500 for the entire album is what I would be asking for. If you guys have an interest, email me, mrbuyslot795 at gmail.com. Let's take a look. Okay. Halloween postcards. <clears throat> Trying to show you guys. And these are all vintage ones. There's no reproductions. And I think there's right at like 124 or 125 total cards. Um, <clears throat> there are some, you can see here. Raphael Tuck, from 1911. Yeah, lots of nice postmarks in the back. So it looks like this one here is like 1924, but the card is much older. But there are a ton of jack-o'-lanterns, black cats, witches in different color outfits. There are a few cards that have like really scary witches, which are very hard to get. There is Clap Saddle. Um, there are about three or four different major uh, artists. I know at one point in time, like some of these cards were doing several hundred dollars a piece. This one is actually embossed. Has like the jack o' lantern chasing the little like pixie gnome kind of things, like brownies. This one's awesome with the pig getting uh, chasing the ghost and eating the jack o' lantern. Really cool with the witch up there. This one's awesome with the owl and the guy with the jack o' lantern head. But then this one's really cool. It's got a witch riding on a bat, another witch on a bat, pulling a jack-o'-lantern. So very awesome, and these are embossed. So very rare cards. Like I said, this is probably the nicest collection of Halloween cards that I've ever had a chance to get. Uh, you can see here, this one's got a little chip. That one also has a chip right there. Still super sellable. You just, you know, you won't pull the big numbers then. Um, the rarity of some of these. Let's see if I can turn some of them this way for you. Look at the scary witch and the black cats with the bats. Just awesome cards. Like I said, probably one of the best collections I've seen of Halloween cards available for sale. These are like supposed to be ghost or specters. And the witch with the moon as a face is just really cool. There's another one of the one with the, the witch in the red and the piggy. And stuff like this. With the devils and witches coming out of the jack o' lantern. This is one of my favorites here. This is an embossed card. They're all carrying the jack-o'-lanterns and there's like a demon kind of pumpkin gourd headed thing. And then you got the devil, the witch and the black cat. Really, really awesome cards. We have the clown with the different Halloween decorations. You have the awesome bat and jack-o'-lantern. The anamorphic food. So 
sorry, some of them are turned different ways. But like I said, it's roughly 124 or 125 Halloween cards. Really cute. Here's another one of my favorites. Really like that one. And this is my absolute favorite with the awesome ghost car. The skull in the front, just a fantastic card. There's a couple little, you know, cut out pieces in there. I didn't count those as in the count, some kind of trade card there. But here's some more. There are a few duplicates. But look at all the witches and all the different color outfits. You have the owl, you have the black cat, and lots of keywords to be used when you sell, especially if you could wait to sell. There's one Thanksgiving card. Yeah, if you could wait to sell until right around Halloween, the stuff does amazing. This one's 1908. Look at that one. Super cool. You can see, like, you know, this is the price that these people paid for this card when they were creating their collection. It has some, like, extra paper lost there. I just left the uh, the prices on so you guys could see what they paid. That one has a little chip out of it. Oh, here's one facing up and down with little boy. Another one with little boy that's a clap saddle. And you have all like the little demon pumpkin people. This one, the witch. That one's Raphael Tuck. Awesome in the keyhole. Awesome witch. Cute little black cat. Another awesome clap saddle card there. Bobbin for apples. It's really neat with the jack o' lanterns in the background. That one's really awesome. Love all like the witches and stuff like that. So again, this collection, I will make it available to you guys as a flip price. Um, I'm asking $4,500. You know, if you have an interest, message me. We'll see if we can work something out. That would include free shipping. But if you're a Halloween collector, you know how rare it is to find this many Halloween cards, especially of this quality, anywhere. And you can see, like, you know, they paid 150 bucks for a card at one point in time. Really love this one with the dressmaker. You know, they paid 60 bucks. This was just one guy's collection, his personal stuff, and they tried to keep track of what they paid for things. There's some pricing on the back of some of them. Anywhere from 25 to I think $200 is the most expensive one I saw. 150 to 200 That one is crazy cool right there. Again, embossed. So it's just some really awesome stuff. The anamorphic scarecrow in person. The really neat jack-o'-lantern. Some people pulling pranks on each other. The star witch. The black cats. You have more embossed cards here. More clap saddle looking cards. That one might be clap saddle, I'm not sure. You have more over on this side. Just super cute. Like this one, the little jack o' lantern is running away from the boy getting ready to carve him. Really awesome cards. So, like I said, if you're a collector or even a reseller, there's money to be made um, on this deal. Especially stuff like this with the like Zeppelin hot air balloon. Really awesome card. Here's another hot air balloon. Done like a jack o' lantern. You have the witch chasing the pumpkin people. More bobbing for apples with the scary pumpkins. The little boy and the jack-o'-lanterns. And you have a couple little photos. Really cool. So, just an awesome, awesome collection. Like I said, this is probably... I think it's right at 124 
Halloween cards, not counting that photo or that, uh, those two other things. So somewhere in that neighborhood, 124 to 125 pieces in this album. Um, just super awesome stuff. So if you guys are interested, make sure to email me at mrbizalot795 at gmail.com. If not, we may bring these to our live YouTube auctions Tuesdays through Thursdays from 1 until about 4.30 p.m. And we will sell them individually, singles, and we'll go from there. So hope you guys enjoy this video. This is something I'm really excited about and just an awesome collection you don't see very often of Raphael Tuck and Clap Saddle and other just amazing Halloween postcards. So hope you guys enjoy the video. This is Brian Davis, Mr. Buys a Lot, signing off. Thanks, guys.